Hello kids, welcome to Alpha Kids. Let's continue with our next module that is reproduction in animals. The process by which living beings produce the young ones is called reproduction. It is the process by which new living beings are produced which resemble their parents. Animals reproduce so that life on earth can continue. All animals grow into adults. Now let's see what is a life cycle. A life cycle is a series of changes that happen to a living creature over its lifetime. The sequential stages of development that occur in a life of an organism starting from the egg or a young one to a mature adult are termed as the life cycle of that animal. Animals can be categorized based on how they reproduce. Either they are egg-laying animals or birth-giving animals. Now let's see which are the animals that lay eggs. Birds, fish, reptiles, frogs and insects. Now let's look at reproduction in birds. Most birds build nests on trees to lay eggs and raise their babies. After laying the egg, the mother bird keeps the eggs warm by sitting on them. This process is called as incubation. When the baby bird develops fully, it breaks open the egg shell and comes out. This process is known as hatching. Then this baby bird grows into an adult hen and the process continues. And this is the life cycle of a hen. The baby bird, as I said, grows into an adult. Till they grow into an adult, the parents feed the young ones. Let's look at parts of an egg. An egg of a hen is oval in shape and has a thin protective shell called the egg shell. An air space is present at the broad end of the egg. The air space grows larger as an egg ages. An egg has a white jelly-like substance inside called albumin, which protects the embryo. The yellow inner part of the egg is called as yolk. Yolk provides food for the growing baby or embryo. The embryo develops into a chick. Albumin is rich in water and proteins, whereas Yolk is rich in fats. Reproduction in fish. Fish lay thousands of eggs at a time in water. Fish eggs do not have shells. They have a jelly around them to protect them from water. Only a few eggs grow into an adult fish as many are also eaten away by predators. A baby fish is called as fry. Let's look at reproduction in reptiles. Reptiles like lizard, snakes and turtles also lay eggs. Reptile eggshells are like thick leather so that they do not break away easily. Crocodile, tortoise, etc. lay eggs in shallow pits near river banks. Life cycle of a frog. Frog lay eggs in large clusters called spawns in water. Each egg is surrounded by a jelly-like substance to protect it from predators. Now if you look here, the eggs turn into embryo and after a few days, the baby frogs hatch out from the eggs and they are called tadpoles. The tadpole looks like a little fish and lives only in water. It breathes through gills. It has a tail and starts to grow legs. The legs grow longer and the tail grows shorter. The young frog now begins to look like its parents now. 
the adult frog now loses its tail and can now live on land it now breathes breathes through skin when in water and through lungs when on land when an organism changes a lot from young to adult stage this process is called as metamorphosis metamorphosis is the biological process through which an animal transforms from one form to another it involves a series of physical and structural changes that enables the organism to adapt to new environments and lifestyles this process can be seen in insects amphibians and some fish for example a caterpillar transforming into a butterfly is a type of metamorphosis now let's look at the difference between a tadpole and an adult frog tadpole lives only in water while as frog which is a cold blooded animal can live both on land and in water tadpoles have a tail frog does not have a tail tadpoles breathe through gills because they live in water and frog breathes through lungs when on land and through the skin when in water reproduction in insects depending on the number of stages life cycle of insects is of two types one is three staged and the other is four staged grasshopper and cockroach has three stages in their life cycle butterfly moth and housefly have four stages in their life cycle now let's look at the life cycle of a cockroach the female cockroach lays many eggs in a case a baby cockroach hatches out of the egg and is called as a nymph the nymph looks like the adult except it's smaller and does not have wings as it grows bigger it sheds its old skin and gets a new one this process of shedding of old skin and getting a new one is called as molting after many moltings a nymph becomes an adult molting in cockroach is the process of shedding of exoskeleton or the cuticle the immature cockroaches are known as nymphs the nymph is known to undergo the process of metamorphosis by shedding of its skin the nymph undergoes molting approximately 10 to 13 times before developing into a fully grown adult cockroach now let's look at the life cycle of a butterfly a butterfly lays eggs on leaves the young ones called as larvae hatches out of the eggs and are called as caterpillar caterpillars eat leaves and grow fast the caterpillar makes a cocoon around itself at this stage the young one is called as a pupa and it stops feeding the caterpillar keeps changing inside the cocoon after the pupa changes into a butterfly it emerges out of the cocoon life cycle of a housefly here the adult housefly lays eggs and the young ones are called as larvae they turn into pupa and then into an adult housefly birth giving animals some animals do not lay eggs but they give birth to young ones that feed on their mother's milk such animals are called as mammals tiger lion bat dog cat etc are some examples of mammals 
Mammals take care of the young ones like feeding them, cleaning them and keeping them safe until they are independent. Now let's look at marsupials. What are marsupials? Marsupials are mammals that carry their babies in their pouch. Kangaroo is a marsupial. Baby kangaroo stays in its mother's pouch where it drinks milk. Where it drinks its mother's milk. We have egg-laying mammals. They are primitive mammals which lay eggs and then suckle the young ones when they hatch out. Examples of egg-laying mammals are duck-billed platypus and echidnas. Platypus are monotremes, a tiny group of mammals able to both lay eggs and produce milk. They don't have nipples. Instead, they concentrate milk to their belly and feed the young ones by sweating it out. If you have liked this video, then hit the like button and subscribe. And don't miss to press the bell icon to get new notifications. Thank you.